Hey you guys, what's up? It's Maddie. Welcome to my channel. Today's video I am so excited for because we are going to be talking about one of my favorite makeup categories, blushes. We're going to take a look at my blush collection. I might maybe consider decluttering a few, but don't hold me to it. And we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So grab a drink, grab a snack or something because this is going to be a long one. All right, y'all, this is it. This is my blush collection. Um, I'm going to get right into it because obviously I'm going to be sitting here doing this for a while. We're going to do creams first and then powders. So I'll just start with this one over here. This is the Winky Lux Cheeky Rose Blush that was going kind of viral for a while there. Um, it is a really, really gorgeous component. I mean, just look at that. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to stick my finger in it. I do use it. The rose shape holds up surprisingly well um, to a brush and it's just really lovely. Yes, partially I bought this as a collector's item just because it's so pretty and I don't regret it because it also wears really well as a blush. So it's a win-win. Next, I have the Flower Beauty Gel Crush Lip and Cheek. Mine is in the shade Raspberry Crush. I enjoy this a lot. It's nice cream formula, really, really thin, blends very easily, beautiful color. I'm going to try not to harp as much as I do in some of my other collection videos because otherwise we will literally be here all day. This is the Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blush. Mine is in the shade You Got Me Blushing, I believe. Yes, You Got Me Blushing. Really, really pretty pink color. It is very dewy and I love that. You know me, I am a dewy queen. This is very pretty and very affordable as well. This is from the same set as that Little Baby Nude Sticks bronzer. This is a miniature Nudie's Bloom, the Dewy Blushes. This is the shade Bohemian Rose, I believe. Yes, this is the shade Bohemian Rose. Very, very pretty. I like the formula. Cute color. No complaints here. Again, probably wouldn't run out and buy the full size at the full price, but I'm glad I have it. This is the Bite Beauty Daycation Whipped Blush. Mine's in the shade Melon Mojito. I got this at TJ Maxx because I was honestly really intrigued. Ever since I saw the launch on social media, obviously you can't get this anymore. Bite Beauty is no more, um, unless you find it at TJ Maxx. I was just really curious about this because it was sort of as cream blushes were kind of starting to really get big. I really like the shade. The formula's okay. Like, it's, it's, it's nothing to write home about. Um, the applicator is weird. I'm not sad that I have it, but I, I get why it didn't really get much hype. Let me do some of these over on the side. This is the ColourPop Blush Stick in the shade Cottage Life. This was from the Limoncello collection, I think. Very, very beautiful color. I actually like the formula of these. I know that there's some sort of, you know, debate on... Whether these are good or not, I like this one. This one, though, I don't know. This is another ColourPop blush stick. This one's in the shade Rum Runner, I think, but it's literally been rubbed off the packaging. That's one thing that irks me about these. Um, the color is pretty, but it, it sort of, once I get it on the cheeks, it kind of blends out to nothing. Of course, I'm going to blend it right here, and it's going to look absolutely beautiful. But, I mean, do you see what I mean? How it kind of just looks washed out? I don't know. I don't think I'm ever really going to use it, so I think I can get rid of this one. Next, I have from Nude Sticks. This is one of the matte blushes, and this is in the shade Beach Babe. I think this is really nice. Really good formula. Uh, I know I literally just said I wouldn't buy a full-size one of these at full price, but I didn't buy it at full price. I got it on 21 Days of Beauty, um, and I'm glad I have it. I do like the formula. I feel like this lasts really well for a stick blush. Recommend if you get it on sale at full price. I don't really think it's worth it. This is the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in the shade Nude Flush. This is very, very pretty. I really like the formula. It's really nice and thin and serum-y. Um, and the color is gorgeous. Just this brown kind of color uh, that you will soon see is really a weakness of mine in blushes. This is a good one. Next, the ever-beloved Makeup by Mario blush stick. Of course, I pop off the wrong end. Mine is the shade Dusty Rose, and it's so beautiful. I, I really like this formula. Um, it's super emollient, really, really creamy. Love the shade. It's this muted kind of pink. 
really, really nice. Highly recommend this one. And you get so much product in here. Next, I have this, the Flower Beauty Blush Balm. Mine is in the shade Spiced. I had a bunch of shades of this before, and I didn't like how any of them looked on my cheeks, but I liked the formula, so it was getting really, really annoying. And then they put out this shade, and by gosh, it's exactly the kind of shade that I like. <laughs> so this is really, really lovely. Really, really thin, nice, serum -y formula. Lasts amazingly once it dries down, but still has kind of a dewy finish. Super pretty. I have these from ColourPop. These are the Cheek Dews. This one is in the shade Bubbles, and this one is in the shade Psst. <laughs> um, I like these. I know that these kind of got mixed opinions when they came out. And yeah, you, you can see that this one's separating out pretty bad. Um, this one doesn't really do that as much. I'm considering getting rid of this one and keeping this one. But I like the color of this one better. For now, I'm going to hang on to both. But this one's kind of more on the chopping block than this one. This is, once again, the ever-beloved Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. Mine is the shade Encourage. I love this. I mean, the hype is so real. Uh, you, you've seen it, I'm sure, all over the internet. The internet goes ape for these. Um, and quite honestly, with good reason, because they are so beautiful. Look at, I mean, the pigment, the easy, easy blend, it's, they're, they're really good. I don't know. Like, what, what can I say? You get enough blush to last you a lifetime, and it costs, what, 20 bucks? It's great. On that note, this is a little mini Rare Beauty liquid blush that I got in a gift set. This one's in the shade Joy, and it's a much punchier color, and you need a lot less of it, so it, I'm cool with having a much, much smaller bottle. This is still going to last me an insane amount of time. I really like this shade as well, though, and I'm glad I have it. This is my little mini Milk Makeup blush stick in the shade Work. Very cute. I think this was the Sephora birthday gift at one point. It's nice. Very cute. Um, you know, again, kind of nothing to write home about. And I'm not entirely convinced that it's not expired. It smells kind of funky. Actually, I think I'm going to let go of this one. I don't know. Just kind of looking at it, and I, I, I kind of just realize I don't really care about it. So if I don't care about it, there's no point in keeping it. So this one can go. It's not bad, though. If you're thinking about it and you see a shade you like, it's not a bad formula. I have two of these Wet n Wild Mega Glow blush sticks. This is the shade Floral Majority, and this is the shade Peach Bums. Peach Bums has been touted on TikTok as being a color dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pinkgasm uh, Glow Wand. I feel like that's probably true. I mean, obviously it's not the same formula, but I mean, in color, it's pretty damn close. I like these though. For, you know, really, really affordable blush sticks, they do the job, and I'm a fan, so keeping. This is the NARS Liquid Blush in the shade Orgasm. This is kind of a cult classic. It separates a little bit. Don't love that. But if you shake it back up, it works just fine. Mega, mega pigmented. Blends out really easily. I don't have anything bad to say. Next, I have this M Cosmetics Serum Blush. This is the shade Venetian Rose. You will see a repeating theme with that shade because I absolutely love it. I had the same formula in another shade, but it was so pale. Um, they really do sheer out quite a lot, and they have a very, very dewy look. Um, but I like that kind of thing, so this is actually great, in my opinion. The super light shades, though, I don't really recommend because they they really blend out to almost nothing. Speaking of M Cosmetics and Venetian Rose, this is the M Cosmetics So Soft Blush Stick in the shade Venetian Rose. It is beautiful. Blends out like a dream, just like the bronzer. I think the bronzer blends out just a touch easier, but that, that could just be my brain playing tricks on me. Either way, this is near perfection for a blush stick. Um, incredible. Seriously. Anything from M Cosmetics is probably incredible. This is the Profusion Blush Hour Liquid Blush. Mine is in the shade Mai Tai. It has that cute sort of sponge applicator that's gotten a lot of hype from those uh, Shein products. This is cute. I like this a lot. Very cute color that I don't have a lot of. 
and you know for a great price the packaging is adorable and it it lasts a really long time and looks nice on the cheeks so what more could you ask for next we have this cute little thing from believe beauty this brand is only sold at dollar general their foundation got a lot of hype and i saw this when i was picking up the foundation and thought i'd give it a try it is super super cute i really like this shade i feel like not a lot of things are coming in this shade uh well i mean i guess it's kind of getting more popular right now but uh cream wise i hadn't really seen anything quite like it and the formula is really really beautiful so i'm glad i have it really cute if you see believe beauty try it seriously <laughs> This is my e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Bali. I literally could not love this color more. It's kind of deceiving in the actual pot. Ugh, it's drying out a little bit. Don't do that to me. Um, when you blend it out, look. I, I love that color so much. This like terracotta-y brownie orange. Shut up. It's perfect. I love it so much. These are my ColourPop Super Shock blushes. I love them, as you can see, because I have four of them. Uh, and this one has been bestowed quite an honor uh, for me. This is Between the Sheets. I have Pan. Yes. Feast your eyes. I have Pan on this blush. Big deal. I really, really enjoy this formula. I mean, I've, I've you know, sung the praises of the Super Shock formula before. This is the shade Drop of a Hat. This very, very pretty pearlized peachy with a golden sheen kind of thing. Um, I've sung the praises of the Super Shock formula. I love it. it. It, I love the bronzer. I love the eyeshadows. I love the highlighters. I love it all. This is the shade Voil? Voil? Voil. I don't know. This one's really cute. Another one of those like terracotta y shades. It's a pearlized finish. Very, very pretty. Um, and then this was the shade Prenup. This is the one I'm currently working on trying to pan. I have a pretty decent dip going. Um, really, really gorgeous, kind of slightly satiny baby pink. I mean, it's it's if it's a super shock formula from ColourPop, it's probably great. Okay? It's it's probably great, and these are. This is a duo from Kosis. Prepare to be disgusted because it looks really, really gross in the pan. Um, this is in the colorway 8th Muse. I was trying for the longest time to use this as a highlighter. I don't think it looks good that way. What I did figure out is that it looks absolutely beautiful if you blend this color all over your cheeks and use this as a topper. Holy cow, that looked good. So this one has sort of been given a new lease on life in my collection. I was very close to decluttering this, but ever since finding out how beautiful that looks, I am so excited about this one again. So yes, fun times. This is one of the newer ones to my collection. I got this right before the end of the year, so right before my no buy started. This is Item Beauty, the cream blush in It's Verified. I'm gonna be so real with you. This is not a cream blush. I, it's, it's, it's simply, it is not. It is a very creamy-ish powder blush. Love the color, super beautiful. And the formula's nice, like it goes on the cheeks very pretty. I like it. This is not a cream. You have been lied to. One of my all-time favorites, a, an internet favorite, and for good reason, is the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blushes. My goodness, I love these so much. So shades that I have, I have the shade, they're so hard to open. I have the shade Summertime Wine. Very beautiful berry shade. They are nowhere near as scary as they look in the pan if you blend them out all over your cheeks. So that one looks really scary in the pan, but it blends out to this gorgeous pink flush. This is probably, well, this was my favorite. This is the shade Rose Latte. This also looks scary. However, it ends up being that gorgeous terracotta brown that I never shut up about. This is the one that really surprised me. This is the shade Daiquiri Dip. It is so bright pink that it borders on red. And I love this one so, so much. I mean, you can tell from looking at the pan how much I've used it. This is absolutely perfect. If you take a really sort of uh, the opposite of dense, you know, fluffy brush and blend this over your cheeks really, really lightly, my God, it looks, it looks like the most natural 
I'm blushing, I just got sunburnt kind of flush. It is my new goal in life to buy all of the red, true red cream blushes to see if they do what this one does. Because holy crap, it looks good. If you see a color that looks scary like this, you might be surprised. Seriously. I, 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 I love these, obviously. I'm going to shut up now, but I love these. Another one that was just so nice I had to buy it twice is the Tower 28 Beach Please Cream Blushes. This is the shade Magic Hour. This is the shade Power Hour. And Magic Hour is a very beautiful, rosy nude. Power Hour, I mean, we're, we're back on the sort of theme that I've been harping on in this video. I love the terracotta-y, brownie, orangey kind of colors. It's, it's my thing. It's my thing. Um, these are beautiful. They get kind of stiff. Like this one was hard for me to pick up right there to swatch it. Um, but if you really let them melt, they get very, very creamy and emollient. Um, and it's a good thing that they get stiff because it means that they'll dry down on your hand. It's very easy to get them to be creamy and emollient again. They just need a little warmth, you know? So love these. This is the Rare Beauty Melting Blush. Mine is in the shade Nearly Neutral. Uh, there's a lot of like back and forth on whether people think these are good. I think this is good. I think it's good if you know what you're looking for. This is not going to last all day. This is not going to be super, super strongly pigmented. This is going to be a flush of color uh, that looks very, very pretty for a limited period of time. However, if you go into it knowing that, this is absolutely lovely. It has this very silicone-y kind of texture. Um, and I, I think it's beautiful. I don't know. I, I think it's beautiful as long as you know what you're getting into. But long story short of this, if you know that it is a sheerer, you know, less long lasting, more slippy formula, and you want to pick it up, go for it. I like it personally. It's different from my other blushes, and I like that about it. Another incredible formula, this one from the drugstore. These are from Honest Beauty. This one is in the shade Peony Pink, gorgeous. And my favorite is the shade Rose Pink. A little bit more of that neutral tone. These are lovely, they're super, super pigmented, very, very creamy, I could go on and on, but it's, it's all the good things in a cream blush and they're like, I don't know, 12, 13 bucks. If you are new to the world of cream blush, but you wanna dip your toes in, this is a good place to start. From MAC, I have these two Glow Play blushes. This is my favorite, the shade So Natural. As you can see, it's that brownie kind of color that I love. And this one is the shade Blush Please, which honestly I ended up loving even more than I thought I was going to. It is advertised as this like mauve color, but I don't think it is at all. I think it's more of just kind of a brownie pink. I, I really think it's lovely. Uh, the formula is great. They have a very similar kind of vibe to the ColourPop Super Shock stuff in that it's very like, it's a putty. You can, you can push it. It's kind of fun. Um, and I mean, they look gorgeous on the cheeks. Just a little bit of a glow. I mean, this is, this, this has me written all over it. So I love these. Another really, really phenomenal drugstore option is the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blushes. This is in the shade Nude Kiss. Not really as nude as I anticipated it being. It's much more of like a like a dusty pink kind of color. Uh, but a really, really gorgeous color nonetheless. And this is, I don't think you can get this anymore. I got this at um, TJ Maxx. But this is the shade You're a Peach. This is from that peach collection they did. And it looks very intimidating in the pan. But again, blends out really, really beautifully to just this like poppy just gorgeous peachy color. Wow, they really don't look that different when you blend them out like that, huh? Whatever, they do on the face. I really like these. These are eight or nine bucks. So another really, really great option if you're dipping your toes into cream blush. This is the ever popular Melt Cream Blush Light. Mine is in the shade Polished. I love this color. Doesn't really look like a lot of the other colors I've been showing you, but oh my goodness, is it beautiful. It's one of the ones that has a little bit of a shimmer to it. And wow, I love this. Um, and again, it's got a lot of qualities in common with the other ones that I love. Very emollient, looks dewy on the skin, lasts a long time, the color is stunning. You know, like, it's great. Recommend. <laughs>
These are sort of towing the line between creams and powders. These are the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blushes. Got these at TJ Maxx as well. I was so curious about them. And I mean, they really are pretty, pretty similar in texture to that Super Shock and Matte Glow Play kind of formula. The very like, you know, you can stick your finger in it kind of putty texture. This color I love, obviously. This is the shade Blurred Buff. You can see that it, it meets my criteria for my dream shades. And this is the shade Mauve Sunrise, and I, I don't think it's mauve at all. I think it's it's very much, I, dare, I, dare I say, a neutral to warm pink. <laughs> but they're both absolutely lovely. I really, really enjoy this formula. Lasts a long time, very, very pigmented, but blends out easily, yada, 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 all the good stuff. And I think this will finish us off for cream blushes and will transition us seamlessly into powders. These are my Pride and Joy. These are my Patrick Ta blush duos. This is in the shade She's Blushing. Just absolutely so beautiful. And what I love about this one is that the powder blush actually has a touch of shimmer to it which as you will find in the powder section is my favorite kind of powder blush. My goodness, that was pigmented. Just that hint of a sheen, so pretty. And then this is the ever popular She's So LA, popular for a reason. My God, is this not my perfect shade? From what I was, all of the hype I've been giving these terracottas and browns, boom, boom, perfect, love it. Could not say enough good things about it. I, I want every shade of these imaginable, ever. Even the ones that I don't really wear, like the very, very bright corals and the baby doll pinks. I don't, I don't even care. If it's in this formula, I would probably wear it. Beautiful, amazing, spectacular, never the same, blah, 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 blah. Love. All right, y'all, we're moving right along into powder blushes. We'll start right up here. This is Wet n Wild's Mellow Wine. I'm working on panning this right now. Obviously, I haven't gotten very far. Um, it's a beautiful color, just really good for every day. It doesn't have any uh, shimmer to it, which I tend to prefer in a blush, but it's a gorgeous color, and I like the formula as well. This is a classic blush. This is Max Melba. Just a really beautiful, easy-to-wear kind of color. Again, it's a matte blush, so I don't tend to use it as much as I use my glowier blushes, but I mean, isn't this just such an old school OG product? Leave me a comment if you remember Mac Melba. These are the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blushes. This one is the shade Mykonos, which is this gorgeous peachy color. And this, as you can see, has been very well loved. This is the shade Seychelles. This, I think, is it's easily my favorite powder bronzer. And for a very, very long time, it was and might still be the undisputed favorite of my blush collection. It is, it's, it's literally perfect. I can't, I can't sing enough praises of this blush. The formula is perfection, it's glowy, the color, I mean, I, I could go on and on, but these are fantastic. I mean, obviously this one's also beautiful, but this, everything about this one is literal perfection to me. This is actually a formula that reminds me a little bit of that Buxom blush, and I'm going to try really hard not to harp on it because they don't sell these anymore. Uh, but this is the Essence Satin Touch Blush, and the shade and the formula actually remind me a lot of Seychelles. Um, it's a little bit pinker, but uh, this, sorry, sorry, it's really, really good. <laughs> this is a loose blush from Bare Minerals. It's in the shade Beauty. I'm going to show you what shade it is. Really, really beautiful pink color. It blends super easily. It has just a little bit of a satin sheen to it. It's an absolutely beautiful blush. Bare Minerals is super, super slept on. Um, they need more love, honestly. And speaking of Bare Minerals needing more love, I'll just hop on this. This is the bronzer in the shade Kiss of Pink. This is another top favorite in my collection right now. Absolutely love this. I feel like I'm constantly reaching for it. Um, the, the concept of this being a hybrid 
blush and bronzer is laughable. I mean, it's it's not. But oh my goodness, it's so smooth. Has that shimmer to it that I like without ever being glittery. I love the color. It goes with every single look. It's it's this is amazing. I have two of the Flower Pots blushes from Flower Beauty. This one is the shade Peach Primrose. Really, really beautiful corally color. Orangey, peachy. This It goes on the cheeks so beautiful. It, they These do not swatch very well, but my God, they perform so nicely. Um, so that one's Peach Primrose. And then this one is the shade Spiced Petal which is kind of a classic shade from Flower Beauty. And it's just this really, really lovely, you know, nudie, pinky kind of color. Who doesn't love that? God, those look similar in this lighting. Anyway, they're beautiful. Really, really fantastic drugstore matte blush formula. Love. This, I feel, is underappreciated. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in the shade Tropic Hues. It's really gorgeous. The marbling really just gives it a unique kind of color that I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Um, the marbling just really adds something to it. It has a little bit of a lilac marbled in there that gives it an interesting shade. The shimmer is so beautiful on the cheeks. that You can kind of see the shine. Look at that. Ugh, I really love this. People need to talk about this more. I have the Burt's Bees blushes. As you can see, I am a fan of them. I have the shades Fresh Apricot, which is this lovely, lovely warm pink. Bare Peach, which is this sort of brownie peachy color. Really natural looking, really pretty. And then weirdly enough, this is a color that I don't normally gravitate towards, but out of my Burt's Bees blushes, I think it's my favorite. This is the shade Shy Pink. And I don't usually go for like the cool tone pink blushes. But if I'm going to, I always, always want to reach for this one. I just really like this one. There's something about it that really I just gravitate towards. Um, but the formulas are gorgeous, really easy to blend, really subtle sheen to them, which again, I love. So these are an underrated hit for sure. This is one of the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Palettes. Mine is in the colorway Watermelon. Uh, the blush is lovely, has a shimmer to it that I love, and this highlighter is blinding. It's super, super beautiful. Big fan of this. And it's $3. Like, it's 3 bucks. <laughs> also from e.l.f., I have their Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Rosy. Really, really beautiful. I'm not going to touch it because it gets hard pan easily if you touch it, but really, really lovely shade. Uh, blends out gorgeously, lasts a really long time. Love. These, the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. I have the shade that we all got from Sephora ages and ages ago, Party. And, oh, would you look at that? Pan in this one as well. Gorgeous color. Really, really like this one. And then I have this one from a holiday gift set and it's in the shade Exposed. Really similar color, I think. Kind of the only difference is that Exposed is slightly darker and maybe a little bit more pink. Um, but they're both really, really lovely. And the formula's great, lasts a really long time. I, I, I don't know if they last 24 hours, I've never tried them on that long, but really great formula. I wish I had a shimmery one, but you can't have it all. This is the Persona Super Blush. Mine is in the shade Carmel. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It is super, super pigmented. Um, and again, I don't usually go for like these cooler pink tones, but something about this one is just so gorgeous on the skin. Has a little bit of that subtle sheen to it that I absolutely love. Blends so easily. I sound like a broken record here, but I know what I like in my powder blushes and this one hits every mark. These, of course, are the Milani Baked Blushes. I have the shades Petal Primavera, which is this lovely, neutrally pink shade. And then the classic Luminoso, this absolutely beautiful orangey, peachy, corally, oh, so beautiful. And the shine these have is 
unbelievably gorgeous. I feel like I feel like it needs to be built up so you can really appreciate this. They're so 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 pretty. Oh, and that color too. Hello. Can you see that little bit of a gleam? Perfect. I love these so much. They're a classic for a reason. This one is newer to my collection. It's the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. It's the Mauvey Mattes. Um, I admit I bought it because I liked the different colors and the embossing and all that stuff. Here's my problem with this. Number one, it smells super funky. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that smell. Number one. Number two, kind of your options if you use this are to swirl all the colors together or to tap a brush in. If you swirl all the colors together, this looks super messy and weird. And also, this is super powdery and pigmented, so pigment flies everywhere. But if you just tap the brush in, you're going to get really uneven color distribution. For that reason, I feel like I never use this, and so I kind of feel bad that I have it. I think I might declutter this one. It's newer to me, but like... I probably should have been smarter and known that this was impractical. So let's be smart now. Next, I have this. Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. This is the Alme Healthy Hue Blush in the shade. I don't know. It's something nude. I, I don't even know if you can get these anymore, but oh my God, this is so pretty. This actually, I would say, is the closest you can get at the drugstore to Buxom Seychelles, like, which, like I said, is one of the best blushes I've ever used in my life. It's so pretty. It has such a gorgeous shimmer to it. I mean, it's a little bit warmer and pinker, I think, than Seychelles. But in terms of the finish, it's really, really similar. This is so good. I don't know. It makes me curious about Almay's other products, but also, like, I, I haven't heard anything about anything else they've ever made. But this one was a hit. I admit that I 100% bought this one for the nostalgia factor. This is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush from the Sailor Moon Collection. Look. Isn't that adorable? Luna. Um, yes, anyway, this is in the shade Cat's Eye. It's a really beautiful color. Looks a lot scarier in the pan than it is on the face. Um, my only problem is that it has glitter in it, and I don't usually love blushes with glitter in them. These are pretty easy particles to brush away. Um, and also I would never get rid of it in a million years because I quite literally only bought it for the nostalgia. I grew up on Sailor Moon. I have a tattoo inspired by Sailor Moon. Um, so this is, this is going to be one of those ones that sticks around in my collection forever and ever, uh, purely on principle. <laughs> I have a really old classic Benefit California. It's, it's, it's a really beautiful shade. Yes, I admit I was drawn in by the embossing and the gold shine and all that good stuff, but it's a really beautiful corally color. I love wearing this one in the summer. This I found at TJ Maxx. I had heard good things about it um, from like YouTubers and wow, it did not disappoint. This is Laura Mercier's blush in the shade Fresco. It looks like it's gonna be glittery, but it is absolutely not. And I'm sure you're not shocked by the shade and me saying how much I love it needs to be built up a little bit so you can really appreciate it. I mean, come on. That could nearly pass for a bronzer. But it's perfect. I love it. It has a sheen to it that I love, but it's not glittery, blah, blah, blah. Same old stuff. This is fantastic. All right, we're getting there. Next, we have this. This is an hourglass ambient lighting blush. Mine is in the shade Diffused Heat. It kind of comes out to be a pretty warm corally pink color pretty pale though because of all of that powder that mixes into it you kind of have to really go for a pigment section if you want to be able to see it very well on the face I feel like it translates better than it does to a swatch but it's a very beautiful formula and I mean very luxurious feeling for sure um and it, it better be because these are extremely expensive I did not buy this at a uh, full price but I'm happy to have it Next, we have another classic. This is the NARS blush in the shade Torrid. Um, just a really, really beautiful corally pink color uh, with a little bit of a sheen to it. This is kind of Orgasm's darker sister, I think. It's a similar tone and it has a similar shimmer to it, but it feels just a little more like punchy. And I like that about it. Really beautiful. This... 
I love this so much. We have returned to complete the trifecta of M Cosmetics Venetian Rose. This is the Heaven's Glow blush in the shade Venetian Rose. And would you look at that? It's a super glowy, uh, you know, pinky nudie blush. Who would have thought that that would be the kind of thing I'd be into? <laughs> This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this on top of other blushes. I love this by itself. I, I just really, 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 really love this. All right, we're almost done. This is the ColourPop uh, Press Powder Blush in the shade Flirt Alert. This was, I, yes. Yes, I bought it because it was heart-shaped, okay? I did, I admit it. But I mean, again, the shade is, is gorgeous. The formula is really nice. It's got mad hard pan. I really need to take care of that. Um, but they're really nice, you know? I don't have anything bad to say, even if I did just buy it for the packaging. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we have these, the Cover FX Blush Duos. I have them in, this one is Mojave Mauve, and this one is Soft Peach. I love using the matte and glowy shades together, love using them separately. I really feel like these held up, these have stood the test of time for sure. Um, they're really, really good. They blend beautifully. They're super pigmented. I don't even know if you can get these anymore, so I should stop hyping them up so much. But yeah, I mean, really, really nice. I told you it was gonna be a long one, but that is it. That was my entire blush collection. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. You must be a blush fan like me. And if you are, leave me a comment down below and tell me what your all time favorite blush is. I know it's like picking between children, but let me know, I'm curious. Um, also hit like and subscribe down below so you can keep up to date with when I post content. Hopefully there will be more coming soon. Med school has been crazy. Um, maybe I'll make a get ready with me or a vlog or something and talk about it sometime soon because I feel like I have a lot to say. <laughs> if you'd be interested in that, let me know that as well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>